guys, we're here at Disney's California Adventure. It is 2024 Lunar New Year. It's the year of the dragon. We are very excited because this is our favorite food festival. There's gonna be so many foods. We have to go check them out. We have our sip and savers and we're gonna bring you guys all along. So why don't you join us today on this magic journeys. Here we go. Right now we're heading over to the Five and Dime to see if I can find myself a Lunar New Year like spirit jersey or maybe some ears because I want to get into the spirit of things. Let's do Let's it. Go. The Five and Dime is where we start this. So we came over to the Five and Dime and we saw all the new Lunar New Year merch. Very nice looking. They got these nice red jerseys. They also have these very cool Mickey Mouses and uh, Mouses. Is that a thing? Mickey Mouses? <laughs> Mickey Plushies. <laughs> Mickey Plushies. And then they also <laughs> had the new Lunar New Year ears. So really cool. We're gonna put the prices on this so you can see it for yourself. Now it is the Year of the Dragon Spirit jersey. It's $84.99. Look at the front. Wow. So Normally I don't get Spirit jerseys, but I saw this one. I just want to be a part of the festivities. So what do you think? I think it looks great. And look at the yeah. back. Yes, wow. I my head's probably covering <laughs> Year of the Dragon. Super <laughs> excited for this year. Right? Me too. I like this jersey. I'm excited I bought it. <laughs> Usually Janelle says she doesn't buy spare jerseys because they're a little pricey, she said. They'd this one was about how much? 86? 84.99. Yeah, they're pricey, but yeah. she wanted to get into the spirit I of Lunar did, New Year. And I'm kind of deciding if I should like tuck it in like this or leave it out. I think I'm gonna tuck it in. <laughs> like this. That's Janelle. <laughs> There's a mirror right here. Oh yeah, she also got the and ears I got too. The ears. I think the ears are so cool because I don't know, I feel like you can be wearing with like even next year too. But yeah, I feel like I'm She's ready. I'm so ready. Guys, we're here at California Adventure at the Lunar New Year Festival. How exciting. We got our sip and savers here. We got two of them. Now each one is gonna have six entitlements, so six tastings. Basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your favorite booth, whichever one it is here, and they're gonna scan these. So they're gonna scan them and you're gonna have a little pin number on the back of the card that you're gonna have to enter into the keypad when you're ordering your food. And then once you do that, that's it. <laughs> this is really cool. Yeah, I'm excited I for this. Yeah, think of it like a, like a credit card, debit card. Yeah, I kind of like that, but it's all in here. <laughs> I kind of like the tabs. I'm not going to lie. I prefer that better than the scanning, but uh, I'm just ready for Lunar New Year this year. I'm ready to go. <laughs> so we got here a little bit early. So as you can see, the booths are not even open yet. They open at about 1030 AM. We're here. It's 9 AM. We got our our sip Lunar and New Year sipping savers. So we're here a little early because we're just too excited. Yeah, we woke up early <laughs> and it almost felt like, like you know when you go to like the field trip? Yeah, like, like that. that excitement. Like we're <laughs> gonna be at Lunar New Year. This is honestly our favorite festival and we're just glad it's back. Mm. And when 10.30 hits, we're gonna get our food okay. with you guys. Yes. <laughs> So one of you viewers, I didn't get your name. You, you walked up to us and you gave us these. These are so it was, cool. Yeah, it's like it says, the sun are on you, the sun are on your cow. Because the cute little treats and the <laughs> I sticker. I love it. Thank, Thank you. you. All the way from Hawaii. Thank you so much. I'm going to cherish these forever. Now, this is one of our favorite festivals. Every year we look forward to it. Now, this year it runs all the way from January 23rd all the way through February 18th. So if you're here at the Disneyland Resort, you cannot miss this amazing festival. All right, so we're gonna go to our first booth, Wrapped with Love. There it is right there. Can't wait, guys. This is the first booth I wanted to try. I have my whole list right here. They have like these pork dumplings, like a oatmeal, raspberry milk tea, and grass dumplings, or fried lemongrass dumplings. Oh my goodness. I know, goodness. I got my list right here. I'm already, <laughs> I'm excited. So when you get your soup and savor, you get these cool little foodie pamphlets, look. Yeah, and inside you can see what kind of food they have here food. at the festival. I know. I like it to have pictures too because it kind of gives you a picture of like what you might get. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> so we're doing the first booth here and we're going to try those fried lemongrass chicken dumplings and the steamed pork vegetable dumplings. All right. I'm excited for this one. So at our first booth, we had to stop by at the Wrapped with Love. Look at this drink, you guys. Look how pretty that looks. Now, this is the Yuja Pineapple Cooler. It has pineapple condensed milk, rice, and it just looks really pretty. So let's cheers. Let's, let's dig in. She likes it. I love it. 
And I don't think you need a straw for this. I think when you're sipping on this, it's like a well-balanced. It tastes like, okay, give me a minute. The foam, it has a little bit of that citrus taste, but that pineapple balance at that little bit of the tartness, that condensed milk, a little bit of extra sweetness this is quite refreshing now if you're listening disney make this somewhere permanent either at lucky's fortune cookery or somewhere because this is refreshing i can see myself getting this in the summer i wonder what kind of color Ooh. it's like a pretty little pastel pink i love that here we go now you decide to sip it just with the foam on top perfect i think both ways are perfect I really enjoy the fact that I can swirl it and it has that little bit of like a like a citrus strawberry taste with a, little, a lot more of the pineapple. I think I prefer it swirled. Okay, so right here we have a fried chicken dumpling with a plum sauce on here. Now these are lemongrass chicken dumplings. Can't wait to try these. Now I wish they put a little more plum sauce on the top because only one of them has it and the rest don't. <laughs> Let's give it a try. Let's try the one that has it. Here we go. Oh, that sounds so crispy. <laughs> that was crispy. Now the dumpling is pretty good. The plum sauce is nice and sweet. I do like the fact that it's a little like soft on the bottom and it's got a nice crispiness on the top. The chicken is great and it has a lemony taste. Kind of sweet, very lemongrassy, which is what the name is. I'd probably say as a whole, I'm not really a big fan of them, but uh, they are not bad. If you wanted to come over to the festival and check them out, try them out for yourself, not bad. Just not my favorite. I also had to get myself the pork and steamed vegetable dumplings with the black garlic sauce. I think I'm just gonna pour it on top. That looks really good. That is very savory, and I think it's because of that pork, it's juicy, but then it's like, it has a little bit of that garlic and, and sesame and soy sauce taste. I really enjoy. And I think I prefer these ones than the ones that you had earlier. Yeah, and I love that garlic soy sauce. Uh -huh, it's so good. Like, I want to have that soy sauce so I can have it at home. All right, so next we're heading over to the Red Dragon Spice Traders. And we're going to try this chicken with chicharrones in it. I kind of want to try this. It looked really cool. It looked really interesting in that photo. And it's probably going to be really spicy, but I don't care. As long as it's flavorful, I don't care. <laughs> Okay, so right here we have a red spice chicken bites and there is red chili on chicharrones and chicken. Oh my goodness. So I, I made a mistake. I didn't get anything to drink. So if this is going to be really spicy, I might regret it. <laughs> but it's okay. I like spicy things. So let's try it out. That's where the flavor is. So we're going to try some of the chicken first. Here we go. Wow. That's really good. <laughs> it didn't start off as spicy, but I'm getting a kick now. <laughs> oh no. I'm getting a kick. <laughs> I would probably say from one to 10 in the heat index, it's gonna be like a good six, maybe a six and a half. It's, it's kind of spicy. I wanna try the chicharron though. Flavorful, this is very flavorful. Mm. It's, it's got a nice sweetness to it but it's got some heat. It's very savory. Honestly, this is good. If you're gonna come over to Lunar New Year, go to the Red Dragon Spice Traders and try this. It is fantastic. How are you feeling? I know it's a little runny, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's very flavorful. <laughs> I think what we're gonna do right now is we're in this booth, we're gonna get this mango drink. I need something to drink. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people might not like spicy food, but I'm telling you, if it's flavorful, give it a try. It's, you won't regret it. I just regret I didn't get anything to drink. <laughs> hey, you know, so we're, we're in line now. Mm -hmm. We also get uh, like a returning favorite, which is the Mickey, the Mickey Mouse. Hot dog. With the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Wait till you see it, you guys. It's tradition. There's a lot of people here. It's pretty busy, but the lines are moving pretty quick, which is a good thing. There you go. You're all set. You got me the prettiest one. I got you. Yes. Hi, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Bye, Bye guys. Enjoy. Thank Ooh, you. Pretty. Look at the mango jellies on this drink. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> this is like my best, this is the best day ever because not only foodies unite, but they also have amazing food. So over at the Babu and Blessings booth, they have this Lunar New Year punch. Look how pretty that looks. Look at the jellies on top. Hi. Now this is going to have mango nectar, tangerine, grapefruit juices, banana, coconut syrup, and mango jellies. Look at this. How pretty that, I love drinks when they come out like super pretty and vibrant like this. So cheers, here we go. What is up with all these drinks we're having today? I'm not even kidding. Can you go ahead and stir it? Maybe. 
Okay, now we can taste the banana. And not so much the coconut, but it's more like a mango banana like juice. I love the little mango jellies that they have on top. Let's see those. You know what this drink reminds me? I don't know if you ever had them, but they're like little jellies and they come with little fruits in the, in the inside, like little jellies. Have you ever had those? The ones in the little cups? Yeah, they sell them in like a big container. Yeah. It tastes just like that, but in like a juice form. I don't know what is up with their drinks today, but they're killing it this year. All right, so right here we have the Mickey hot dog bun. Now this one's very popular. It's one of the most popular things I think they have here in Lunar New Year. And we have to get one every year, it's tradition. But look at that, that's a nice little Mickey pretzel with some sausage and also some sesame seeds and some green onions on top. Wow, that looks really good. <laughs> Let's try it out. And it's, it's not like the other pretzel, these are actually a lot softer. It's like a brioche. <laughs> there really isn't anything special in this. <laughs> I think it's just because it's Mickey shaped and it's mm -hmm. fun to eat. <laughs> <laughs> These are really tasty. I do love the pretzel. It's not like your typical Mickey Mouse pretzel that you get here in the park. These are a little bit more like, almost like a bread. They're very flaky, they're buttery, they're very tasty. And I love this sausage. It's nice and savory, lots of flavor. And come on, there's a reason why they're very popular. It's because they're very tasty. They're fun to look at. They're great for Instagram. And if you're here at Lunar New Year, you need to get one too. It's so great that we're getting to meet a lot of you guys here at the festival. Thank you guys for saying hello. And all of you guys who haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe and leave us a like. It really helps us out with the algorithm. So we walked over by the Turning Red photo op where you can meet Mei Li and her mom, Ming Li. And we just checked, the line seems like an hour to two hours long. And I don't know, I don't think we're gonna wait that long, but we saw them from a distance and they looked really, really cool. So if you have the time, go ahead and take those pictures because they're amazing. All right, so it's 12.40. That yes. means at 12.45, the Mulan Lunar procession. New Year procession is coming. Let's go find a place to stand. Like, I feel like anywhere you can see it, right? Pretty much anywhere. There's a, lot, there's a lot of people already lining up to see the parade, so we gotta find a spot. I know, let's go find a spot. All right, so at 12.45, the parade's gonna start, the Mulan Lunar Procession, and we're waiting for it. Everyone's here, they're lined up for it, and it's pretty exciting. It's a great parade, we can't wait to see it. Prosperity booth, and we're gonna try this new Kung Pao Bao. I'm excited for this. Me too. I'm actually excited for you because you're gonna try this one. I know. Well, because of your mouth. My little teeth. Yeah, she's healed, kind of, but I'm like not fully there yet. And I have another procedure, but I'm like, I'm super excited for it actually. Yeah. Because I get to come back and try more and more like food. You know what I mean? <laughs> I can't wait to get 100%. I just want to let you guys know that I read every single comment. None of the comments went unnoticed. It made my day, it made my whole month. It's been a rough one, but reading those comments, I loved it. Okay, so we went to the Prosperity booth, 
and I thought these were gonna be Kung Pao chicken bows, but they are not. These are plant-based. Look at that. It's I'm a huge good. fan of Kung Pao chicken. And as you guys can see, there's peanuts in there, there's scallions, but I'm surprised there's no like chili flakes in I know, here, right? you know? It's like spice. All right. You never know, it might be spicy. Yeah, let's try this out. Okay, this is actually very tasty. I love the way that they coated the whole thing with Kung Pao sauce. Uh, the pao is perfect, and it does have that nice and sweet, savory taste. I do enjoy this. You also have peanuts and scallions. A very flavorful bao. And there's another one they have over there. What was it called? The, uh... It was like the pork, barbecue pork yeah. bao bun. But they ran out of the sauce. Yeah, I know. So we're all like, well, we should just wait. We should try this one out. And so far, I'm pretty impressed. This is really good. <laughs> and it's plant-based, so if you guys want to try something that is plant-based, they got it right here. Although it's a really short festival, I feel like this is one of our favorites. Every year we look forward to it, right? It is actually probably my favorite festival. It is. Uh, and then after that, I think it'd have to be food and wine. Food and wine yeah. and then festival holidays. <laughs> But yeah, it's it's so exciting to be back. I feel 100% good, you guys. Reading those comments just made my spirit soar because I've been having a really rough January, but thankfully I have my boyfriend Miguel like guiding me and letting me know that it's gonna be okay. It's just a tooth infection. But I just reading those comments just made my day. And don't think those comments didn't go unnoticed. I read every single one and nothing heals fast and support then some support from you guys. So thank you, thank you so much. And now I think it's time to eat something together. Let's go. All right, so these are their pork ribs, look. And they have an Asian-inspired sauce right on top, topped with roasted peanuts and scallions. And I said sauce, it's actually a glaze. <laughs> look at that. Wow. I don't think these are kind of cold. We just got them like literally right now and they're not hot. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it should be its own plate. Like some of those with some rice. I know, this would have been great with some right? rice. I, I remember there used to be like some dishes before where they used to serve rice. And oh, yeah. I don't remember. It's been a long time. <laughs> yeah. well, let me tell you, these are fantastic. And if you want to try them, well, you can get them here at the Coke food truck. How <laughs> did we called? forget? It's Studio Catering Co. There's so many names. Studio Catering Co. <laughs> <laughs> but I actually like these. It's pretty good. I love the peanuts. I add a nice little crunch. I love the scallions. But that sweet glaze is what makes it. Oh my gosh. It has that nice little kind of like sweet teriyaki taste, but a little bit more gingery. Very good. So right now we're in San Francisco. We decided to take a little break. It's a very busy day today. It's the first day of Lunar New Year. There's a lot of lines already at the booths. But uh, so far, the energy's been great. The food's been fantastic, and we've been having a great time. I think I think my favorite part is getting to meet all you guys. I feel like when there's a foodie thing happening, all the foodies yeah. tonight, I think. Yeah, we it really got day. to meet so many people today, yes. and we just, we love every single one of you, so thank you. Don't be shy. If you want to say hello, come and say yes. hello. Scream our don't name, bite. whatever. <laughs> say hello. Do not be shy. Yeah. All right, Janelle, next we're going to the Lucky Lantern. Yes, they have this cute little like mandarin mousse cake that looks so cute, and I'm pretty sure that tastes really delicious too. You think so? I think so. Well, let's get it. We also saw the Atticus Sabria egg roll. Yes. So we want to try that out, but mm. Janelle really wanted that mango mousse. I did. It it's not mango, it's mandarin. Oh, mandarin uh, mousse. <laughs> get with the times, man. Oh my goodness. This is what we're excited for. <laughs> this is what she was excited for. The mousse, look at that. It looks like a water droplet. <laughs> so at the Lucky Lantern, they have the Quesa Birria egg roll. Look at this! And it has a guajillo sauce. Yes! I can't wait to get in this thing. I think it's a guajillo consomme. Consomme. Ooh, it's gonna be hard. Oh no! All right, so first, I'm gonna get in this thing. Ready? All right, look at that. There's the Quesa Birria. Oh my gosh, that pull. Oh my goodness. They have cheese pulls, and I, I gotta put it in the consomme. Pool. Here, I'm gonna grab some of this here. Give the, give the people what they want. Oh yeah, here we go. Look at that. That is amazing, yes! <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow, that is delicious. I love the egg roll flakiness. I think Disney's doing one thing right, and that's birria. That is fantastic, very fatty, very flavorful. 
and the consomme, the guajillo, adds a little bit of kick. Now it is a little spicy, I'd probably say from like one to 10, maybe like a three, it's not much, but this is amazing. Probably my favorite thing so far here at the- uh, Festival. <laughs> at the festival. This is amazing, honestly, try that. It is great. Look at this cute little dessert, you guys. Now this one here also got the Lucky Eight Lantern and it's a mandarin orange mousse cake. It has compo, it has a little tangerine glaze on top, vanilla cake. I'm starting to get I'm gonna very be, pretty. be quiet and just <laughs> dig in. All right, it's too cute to eat. Look at that. Wow. It's so pretty. Here you go, cheers. Wow. I know when Janelle loves something. That's the face that she like, loves it. <laughs> I know. I feel like everything we tried today has been like a hit, right? Mm hmm I do love this a lot, you guys. I love the bitter sweet taste of the whole cake itself. It's bitter because of the compo inside and sweet because of the tangerine glaze. But I don't mind it at all. I feel like it does balance the little dessert well. It's not too sweet and it's not too bitter, if that makes sense. And it's just too cute. Like, come on. It's a very pretty Please. dessert. Please. It's so good. <laughs> and sometimes you just crave like a... Imagine this with tea. Oh my gosh. You could talk about it now. But I say go run over to this booth over here and grab yourself this. Not only is it cute, but it's delicious. That was a cute little mandarin right? dessert. It was yeah. so sweet. And like, <laughs> oh, I'm all like, hi. Hey. <laughs> I keep thinking about it. Am it's I too bad you gotta destroy it, but you have to in I order to like to. eat and enjoy it and indulge. You have to, and if you get messy, who cares? You just go for it and enjoy yourself. This <laughs> is the Lunar New Year Festival after all. You have to get messy and enjoy all your food. Doesn't matter which festival, just have a great time. What? Oh, no. Listen, let me tell you something. Lately, I've been watching a lot of slime videos. I don't know what went up for me this 2024. But all I watch now is slime videos. I went from <laughs> watching like the cooking ones where they cook to slime videos. This makes my day. I think I might get one. Yeah, Can and we? right over here on this side, you get to design your own slime. slime. That's pretty cool. Look at that. I'm you so happy it. right now. Like it's fun because you're gonna get a lot of the stuff on them. But if you just want to keep them just like that, you can oh, get this one. Them. But you can't that one. It smells like strawberry. Yeah, it's strawberry cow milk. Oh, that's why. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> I think I might get this one. Now I'm gonna pick some, some toppings. I feel like I'm going ice cream shopping right now. <laughs> you have no idea how excited I am. That's pretty cool. So if you're into slime, this is probably something people are gonna be into. Like this one has like little hearts and stars, little papyrus. I'm gonna put that in there. That's so cute. Yeah, like a purple macaron. Or maybe. And then these ones also set well. So they're also set. So once you're able to get over it, see. Oh, this one. Some of these little hearts. I think that's good. Huh? A little bit more of the little pockets. That's pretty cool. So you can come and get whatever slime you want. And then. Uh, yeah, you can do it yourself. You can add whatever little toppings you want in your slime. That's pretty cool. People are into that right now. Well, they have this booth here at Lunar New Year. Look how cute. I got my little toppings and I got my little slime. So let me like test it out. And it's like that buttery slime and it smells like strawberry milk. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's so cute. Look, look, little cow. I'm excited to pay this when I get home. So yeah, get it here, you guys. It's yeah, it's local. cool because uh, sometimes you know I'll be listening to slime videos at the end of the night, and I'm like, it gets me sleepy. They have you, yeah, they help you go to sleep. Yeah. It's so fun. All right, so we're right over here by the Paradise Garden Grill. We're about to do some crafts. Yes, I'm ready. Here you can put like a little like a bewitch from Lunar New Year. They hang it up there, and it's so cool. And it's a fun little craft to make with yeah. your friends, your family, and your loved ones. Let's go. All right, so right over here at the calligraphy booth, you can get yourself one of these. Now, these are all hand-drawn, and it tells you what they say on here. Like this one here says, everything goes as you wish. And then, happy oh, spring, peace, love. Wow. Like dragon and blessings, and happy new year. Right, so yeah. cute. All right, so they're writing love for us, calligraphy. Look at how beautiful that looks. <laughs> Wow. 
Thank you so much. Wow, that's beautiful. Love. Love. Oh, I got love. Well, Ani is love. Why didn't we get love? <laughs> you got joy? I just feel so much joy in me. I feel like there you good. go. Good All Thank right, you. love and joy. Thank I you so much. You. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right, Janelle is going to write her wish down and then we're going to put it on the wishing wall. What should my wish be? I don't know, Janelle, it's up to you. I don't know, I don't know. I already have everything. I have you, I have them. I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> How about more slime? You wish for health? <laughs> there you go. How about that? Yeah. Wish for good health. And she's done. Good health. Wishing a good health. All right, and then after that, once we put the little string on there, we're gonna go to the wall and put the little wishing heart right over there. Oh, it's a wishing Mickey. I thought wishing it was a heart. <laughs> it's a Mickey. Come on. And as you can see, a lot of people already made their wishes. Let's see what some of them are. I think somebody wants best health for my family and a great year for my baby boy. Oh, very nice. So she's got hers up there. <laughs> Yay! So over here at the Paradise Garden Grill, they have a whole fish, a whole fried fish. Good enough for two people. It's great for sharing. And it was very tasty the last time I tried it. But today we're gonna try the banh mi and we're also gonna get some tiger tea that Janelle really likes. We're gonna get that here at the Paradise Garden Grill. Let's go get it. All right, there it is, the banh mi. Here we go. I'm all like, where are you going with that? So right over here at the Paradise Garden Grill, you can get yourself one of these sandwiches. This is the banh mi pork sandwich. And inside you're gonna have grilled pork belly and you're also gonna have some cucumbers, some daikon, and uh, jalapenos and some pickled carrots and a spicy mayo. This looks pretty good. <laughs> and there's some cilantro on top too. Let me try to fit everything in there because it's all starting to come out. It looks like a big bite. Now we do use our sip and savor pass, but they do have a full plate of that, so. Yeah, so you could get the bigger sandwich or you could get the sip and savor portion, which is a little bit smaller, but since we've been eating all day, this is fine. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's give this a try here. That's good. It's good, it looks that's really good. good. Mm, that's a fantastic sandwich. Wow, I love how fatty the pork is. Very flavorful. And then of course you got the cucumber taste. You got a little bit of a citrus from the cilantro and I love the pickled carrots. All together, it's wonderful, guys. This is a very tasty sandwich. Honestly, I would say come over and get the full sandwich. That's how good it is. Forget the sip and savor, get the full sandwich. But uh, <laughs> if you just wanna try it out, and you get the sip and savor version because this is fantastic, guys. Here at the Paradise Garden Grill, you can get it. I also get my returning favorite, which is a tiger milk boba tea with brown sugar boba. Look at this. They should just make this permanent. Like, I don't know why they don't make it permanent. You know what I mean? It's your favorite. I know they have one at Lucky's Fortune Cookery, but come on, make this one permanent. So, my favorite part, ready? There we go. Mmm. Get a good swirl. I come every year. If they get rid of this drink next year, I ain't coming back. That is it. <laughs> she really loves the I really tea. love this drink. Now I don't I like my teas not too sweet and not too bitter. Just like my coffees. Now dessert is a different story. I like those sweet. But this one is so yummy and I can't wait to get dig into those bobas. Wow. So if you're here at Paradise Garden Grill, get what Miguel got, the banh mi, and also get the Target Milk Tea Boba. It's refreshing, it's amazing. And so far, Lunar New Year has been knocking it out of the park, right? Oh yeah, they've been so knocking good. it out for sure. They they have, I feel like they said, let's step it up this year. <laughs> Just 2024, let's, let's wow them today. It's really cool to see them paint up a dragon right in front of you live. Our artist has been doing it for over 40 years, so she's got the talent for this. And it's really cool that you can purchase one and take it home, and you can either eat it, you can put it on your wall, but it's really nice to see them sculpt something right in front of you. We're here at the Hollywood Backlot, and we're gonna go to Terran Treats, and we're gonna get the last food for Lunar New Year. Lunar. We're gonna split it in half. There's gonna be another churro in here. We're getting two churros, I thought. No, we're. are we gonna get two churros? We're getting the strawberry green tea churro. 
and oh the dragon fruit churro over there by <laughs> Willie's at Willie's cart. All right, so we're gonna do two then. Two churros. And then that's it, right? I think we're done. It's, it's so much food. I've eaten so much. I don't know if I can hold any more. I, I have a little bit of room left. <laughs> well, a little bit. Let's try to fit these in. Where's Dave over there? He can't hold his excitement. He's ready. He I wants love, it. I love watching him make churros. <laughs> <laughs> the little nuggets. Yeah, the strawberry so green tea So it has a green tea, tea cinnamon sugar, dusted churro with strawberry cream sauce. Chocolate oh, that is strawberry sauce rice, too, strawberry, Yeah. So okay. the drizzle is strawberry, as are the little <laughs> frozen things. This is the strawberry green tea churro. It's why you're making me laugh. It has like, it's like cinnamon dusted churro with like green tea powder, freeze dried strawberries. And yeah, you want to grab one? Sure, you bet I do. All right. <laughs> All right. Cheers, green. Cheers. What do you guys think? Churro. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. A regular churro? It just tastes like a regular churro. I'm <laughs> hoping for that like, powder. I can't believe we have the same reaction. You guys really did. You guys have a churro. It's a churro. Hey, let's get the drizzle this time. Okay. We need to get the Not. drizzle. That's strawberry. <laughs> that was way better. <laughs> what would you rate these churros? I like would it. Would you get them again? Yes. Yeah, because it's just like a regular chewo with a hint of strawberry. Hold on, let me chew this real quick. Hold on. You gotta make sure your bite has some of the drizzle on there. You can definitely taste the cinnamon. Yeah. A little bit of the strawberry, but not so much of the green tea, which is funny because it's very fragrant it? of the green tea. I can't like, smell it. It almost smells like matcha. <laughs> it almost smells like matcha, but then you taste it thinking it would be matcha, but it's not. It's more of like a green. It's just a regular cinnamon churro with a little hint of strawberry. Doesn't sound like you would get it again. No, I want to get it again. I'm kind of disappointed. I was hoping like a matcha or green tea taste, but yeah. I don't taste that at all. Aww. But it's still good. Like if you like just a regular churro with a hint of strawberry, this is the one you should get. What? Dave's like in his own no, world right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what I was like. Now we're getting, exactly am I too close? <laughs> now we're getting the dragon fruit churro. The dragon fruit churro. And originally we thought it was going to be at Willie's, but no, it's here over next to uh, the Hollywood studio sign. Yeah. All right. We got the dragon fruit churro. Look at that. It's kind of pretty. It looks like shredded cheese though. <laughs> it's, the color. it's very purpley. It's very Valentine's ish. Oh, it is kind of. Right? Kind of like Sweetheart's <laughs> Night ish. Oh, here we go. Okay, well, cheers. Cheers, cheers to our Valentine's. Hello, everyone. Oh, it's Join a princess night. Oh, that's pretty good. To welcome in. Uh, really? Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> 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 the parade's about to start. I know. It tastes like fruity pebbles with a hint of coconut. Oh, really? mm -hmm. I like the oh. coconut. You don't like it or you do? I do. I do. I, I love coconut I think it's too. what adds that, that like oh, perfection texture. to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to have the coconut. Even though it looks like shredded cheese, don't be bothered by it. Oh, it's <laughs> it kind of does. It's not. <laughs> I swear it's coconut cheese. Cheers. Cheers. That's good though. I do like it. And I would definitely come and get it again here at Disney's California Adventure. Very good. Is he? That drizzle is really good. Try it. Mm, that was good, good right? Yeah. That's so good. This one's good. We had a lot of fun today. Lunar New Year is spectacular. I'm telling you, this is one of our favorite festivals. And if you guys haven't ever been to one, you have to come and check out at least one of them. And I think yes. this one is the best this one. This is definitely the must try festival. I, it's every year I say this every time, that this is one of our favorite festivals. Not only is the food good, but the ambiance and the energy yeah. is amazing. Fantastic. <laughs> and guys, if you haven't subscribed, then what are you doing? Really? If you haven't subscribed, don't forget to leave a like. But we're gonna see you guys here next time on, on Magic, Magic Journeys. Journeys. Bye. Bye.